The OPP is facing a court challenge over the denial of a public hearing connected with the death of a man struck by an OPP vehicle. After an investigation, officer misconduct was considered, quote, not of a serious nature. And CTV News has learned that when deciding on its own officers, the OPP declared miscon misconduct not serious about 80 percent of the time between 2018 and 2022. There are also concerns with the way that this is all being communicated. And for more, we're joined by former OPP commissioner Chris Lewis. So, Chris, let's talk about checks and balances here. Let's start off with that. Well, you know, the 80 percent thing doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, and the public shouldn't read that into the OPP covering for their people that have done something serious. If something serious is done, then the senior command staff of the OPP want it dealt with properly. Uh, but the vast majority of officers and the vast majority of instances do nothing wrong. And when they do, sometimes it's maybe just a policy violation or an issue that is not serious. Uh, and so that's the reality of the statistics. How they communicate it from there seems to be of a bigger concern, according to a, a recent lawsuit. Okay, so speaking of that communication, Chris, you know, doctors, a lot of doctors face the same hurdle, the same challenge in terms of bedside manners. Let's talk about that. Yeah, well, you know, the, the letter that uh, I saw in the article from uh, Woodward from uh, CTV uh, is a letter I signed myself on many occasions when I was commissioner. It's very uh, cut and paste, absolutely. It's a boilerplate uh, memo. It's drafted by lawyers, uh, and it is impersonal in hindsight. I never really gave it a lot of thought until the widow of this man that was struck and killed by an OPP officer, and there's a lot of circumstances around that. Uh, but, however, it, it, she lost a loved one, and so very tragic for her. And, and she raises the concern that there's, you know, there's really not a lot of empathy in the letter. It is, it is truly a, a legal document, bearing in mind there may be a lawsuit that follows. So I think they need to rethink the, the wording a bit and because they don't actually have that many cases where life has been lost as a result of OPP action, whether intentional or not. Uh, and so in those, those few cases a year, to have maybe a little more empathy in the communication uh, is something worth considering. Well, do you think this is going to affect change, that uh, something's actually going to be done moving forward? I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me at all. If I was still commissioner, I'd look at this and say that, you know what, maybe we should rethink this a bit for those few cases a year where something so tragic occurs. Uh, commissioner Karik is a very compassionate, caring man, and I'm sure he'll have a hard look at this. One of the other issues in this, Bakari, is that because she wasn't charged with a serious offense under the uh, Police Services Act or a criminal offense, for example, uh, which SIU ruled there was did not occur, uh, then there's no trial. If there's no trial, there's no public airing of the details. But that's the reality of the employer-employee relationship in this case. That's beyond the OPP. The only OPP can only deal with the the empathy and the, you know the, some of the sensitivities around the wording of the letters. Hey, Chris, can you talk about the threshold for something to be considered serious, you know, above that not serious mandate? Well, if it meets the uh, criteria laid out in the disciplinary code of the Police Services Act of Ontario, whereby you may be charged with a Police Services Act offence, then it's considered serious. Then it's a public hearing uh, that the family members of the deceased in this case could attend and hear the details to. When that's not the case, or when there may be grounds to lay a charge, but uh, there's a plea deal or some sort of an issue or a decision is made that, yeah, it meets the threshold, but in these circumstances, we're going to deal with it by a, a way of discipline as opposed to an actual hearing, uh, then there's no public airing of the facts. And, and that's just the reality of it. And it's an employer-employee relationship issue. Uh, so they're difficult calls at times, but without a doubt, if, if the grounds to lay a charge are there, uh, the OPP will lay it. Uh, there's cases where they haven't, and other police departments haven't, and SIU has said they should, uh, or some other body has said they should, but it's the OPP commissioner's decision to make based on all the facts, not just what some other oversight body looks at and determines to be right or wrong. A former OPP commissioner, Chris Lewis. Thanks, Chris. Anytime, Akari. Thank you.